All about transform and roll out. <laughs> Have you uh, invited me in? It's Cabby, Andy Houghton. Oh, uh, we're we just headed out. I thought I had everybody invited that wanted in. I'm sorry. Skiko. Who was that? Andy. Uh, Andy. But no, if if you've got a full one, I'll just I'll just play. Uh, um, I'll I'll just play with. Oh, here's Hunter. Okay, let's bring two uh two to A. Everyone else, uh B. Oh wait, we only had two destroyer, one destroyer. That's myself. Uh, it doesn't even count destroyer. Uh, let's just do a three and four split. Three on A, B, four on A. Remember, we're not doing push on the B, B. We're holding the B side. I mean, the A side is the pushing side. Very much. I'll bring a DD next time. I didn't notice that we only had one. Our fast shooters are on this side. The heavy hitters are on that side. But not too hard push. We're just playing defense on A and B after we get a cap. Watch. Yeah. I've got smoke right in front of me. There's Puerto Rico. This would be careful pretty much. I just hit the patrol for 16,000. That's good. Moss out. Yep, I see the Moss, but he fired at me. Thank God he missed. Right on the Moss out. Does it matter? You don't have to set him on fire. That's good. My bad. He's angled anyway, so. Well, he is already on me. He's out already for after like uh, 20 seconds. He's going to be out for like one and a half. And now I will just play defense. Cap on me. As soon as you. Oh, it's on the house on the fly in the back. Looks like Shimmy Torp's on this side. He just sent two sets. Okay, that means Vampire's on me, since he's got the Hydra on me right now. Vampire's coming towards you, Clover. Firing on Shimmy right now. Sorry, Joe. But he has dry all the smoke to go hit me. Here we go. He's out again. Okay. Engine boost to Make sure you're mute out of smoke. Oh, 
対応完了したわよ火災発生直ちに消火を魚雷を発射するわ There we go Go on, on DD 変換目標に攻撃を集中するわよ Sorry, Josh, you're gonna be under that one. Okay. Yeah, uh, next time, Rick, don't drive behind the island. That is not where the battle crews are gonna be at. You want yeah. to be in the front line, not behind the island. Next time, drive through that little hole. Instead, just drive behind the island. Yeah, pretty much. You had to push the rim power now. You had to push forward, Rick. You had to put it into the A cap. There was nothing I you can do. And the same, same for the uh, hunter, you had to push with this, the uh, rig over there. You guys had to push at the same time. Well then, I'm trying to reset A here. Uh, I've, got, I've got my eyes on the DD, he's in the air right now. They're well, just coming around behind me, I've got nobody stopping them. Yeah. So, I'll go down in the next... Probably 30 seconds, as soon as somebody gets an angle on me. Uh, Rick, do not use your hydro. Save it. Don't use it until. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I started. I've already used it. Oh, that's not good. You got. You want to. I know. The... Yeah, you want to have your hydro ready because if hydro is bad in the Bahamas island, it won't do too anything. You don't want to use a hydro in the early time. So the hydro only put, you only pop the hydro when you need it. Like going for close in combat, then you pop that. If you're long range, you never use those. Yeah, we still have too much heavy cruiser. I mean, next we still treat the heavy cruiser style, even though light cruiser. This'll do me. Almost. <laughs> yeah, we got too much radar with no HE span. Ah, uh, here's Petri. Yeah, and uh, Canada, next time don't pop behind the whole island right there. You're gonna not be able to hit anything. You're just staying there pretty much the whole game. So try not to pop behind the island. For next time. Since I some guys not designed to pop behind the island and stuff. And that's really hurt. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, the thing is that some guys never pop behind the island. That's the thing. Even if you want to park, you park, you know, on the open water. That's the one, the thing, because the horse uh, turning circle make it really hard to turn. Here comes up a tree. Now I'm being focused hard on. Okay. Uh, focus on the Moscow and let's have the Patreon. Dude. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna grab a DD when we get back. Oh, yeah. You know, there's also a lot to be said of it when you're keeping moving is to keep yeah. messing with your throttle. Yeah. Oh, so let's keep... Stop. Get yeah. going again. You know, slow down. Go go fast. You know, turn. Very turn. much. Let's just bring one sound guy instead. Not bring two of them. Just bring one of them. Alright. Yeah, it's better to have one, That's too. why the, uh, the incoming fire one is great, because as soon as you see it pop up, you know it's turn a little bit. Yeah. And, uh... At least miss some of the shots that are coming in. Yeah, but I'm reckon it's a nice skill. Maybe one's better than the having two, since two of them are kind of too slow. Well, let's hope you have a hydro on, <laughs> Rick. No, I got 31 seconds. Oh. I'm gonna back it up. I'm going to do a how-to video on hydro and radar one of these days. I see a lot of people misuse it. Yeah, radar, yeah. you don't radar when you detect it. You never use a radar unless you know where the shore is exactly at, then you radaring it. Or you just want to know where the every single shit near you at, then you pop a radar will be on the island. By the way, radar is not really useful anytime. Yeah.
If you don't know where it is, there the shore is, and you pop it and there's nothing, it's a waste of radar. It's maybe it's bad to stop playing the radar ship, or rather the spotting ship. That even better. You know, I think the best procedure on this map, my thinking, is going down AB, or the BC line, and just go that way. Yeah, but remember, we only got one DD. I mean, that won't work for this type of I know, but we should have two DDs, and both of them, one go out wide, and one go in shallow. Yeah. Yeah, no one caught it on this first game, though. That it we just only had pushed, one. and then 